there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Catco, and I'm here to play Day of the Tentacle Remastered. So if you've never heard of this game, let me hit you up with a little bit of information. I don't know a ton, I've never played it, but I'm really excited. So this game was released in 1993 by LucasArts. This is a graphic adventure game, as they call it. It's like a point-and-click adventure game, if you know what that is. Uh, I've never played one of those games before, never really had a ton of interest to. This is kind of like what older PC games were for a while, and uh... But this is one that was really, really popular and really well known. I've heard a lot of people say that this is the best of the uh, LucasArts games, which they made a lot of point and click games that are classics. And right now this company called Double Fine has been going through and the um, the director of that company, what's his name? Uh, Tim Schaefer, maybe? Could be wrong. I think it's Schaefer. Uh, who ran LucasArts, who was a lead developer for LucasArts games back then. Uh, he is now the, the head of Double Fine, and they're going back and remaking some of those old games. They did uh, Grim Fandango, and they did this one, and to a lot of praise. And I got this on the Humble Bundle, the overwhelmingly positive Humble Bundle, which means that this is overwhelmingly positive on Steam, and it is. And for some reason, just the style of this game looked really cool. It looked fun. And so, I don't know, this might just be a huge failure when we get into it for me to play a game like this after never having done it. But I saw it, thought it looked cool, thought the style seemed neat. And I thought, I'm going to try to make a YouTube series out of this. So I waited. I wanted to finish my Ethan Carter series, which I did do. So now I'm ready to get going with this one. And uh, I say we just get in here and see what this is all about. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and hope you enjoy. Would you like to enable the developer's commentary? Uh, we will go with no, because I've never played this at all, so I don't think the commentary would be what I want right now. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. I hope that the, the levels are correct. I tested it out. I feel like the game's a little loud, but hopefully you can still hear me. It's very loud to me. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. You drank it anyway, buddy. Nonsense. <laughs> it makes me feel great. That's a point source pollution Smarter, right there. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. We'll say it. <laughs> Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. <laughs> Guessing that was a tentacle. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard. So 90s. He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. So silly. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> LucasArts Entertainment Company presents Dave the Tentacle. It's interesting that they're keeping the LucasArts branding on these games. Even though this is a double fine game. Yep, Tim Schafer. Written and designed by Dave Grossman and Tim Schafer. I'm liking the music in this. This is so silly. It sounds sort of like Ghostbusters ish. I don't know. <laughs> they make you watch the credits first in the 90s. I do 
like the music. I feel like this is a nice tone, a good start. Seems like there's probably a more direct route right there that could have been taken when go through all those mountains. We're in a hurry though. Ooh, through the barn! Jeez, this is strange. I've never played a game that had the credits first. It's like we're starting a, uh... It's like we're starting a cartoon somehow. And this is like the opening sequence, the opening scenes. Or not scenes. Like the video music package that you get. Like this is a new episode of Rugrats or whatever. Up there at the mansion. You see a scary figure. I bet this will be a very scary horror game. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. <laughs> I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drum. His voice, his voice if I is know Dr. Me. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? All right, we got some controls. Guys, that Bernard's voice is just, not Bernard, a hoagie's voice is killing me every time he speaks. Uh, prepare for some incoming mic sounds. Okay, hopefully that's good. Just as a pop filter there. So... Oh, we got some different keys here. Okay, left click is walk to and to confirm. Right click is open verb selection dial. Middle mouse is to open inventory. Shift object highlight, escape open menu, F1 switch render mode. I'm guessing that takes us back to the old 90s look. Enter confirm, navigate the menu, easy enough. Skip a cutscene, open inventory. A is commentary, which we don't have on. And one, two, three selects the different characters. And we got dialogue selection. So I didn't know we could choose dialogue in this game, so that's cool. All right, so simple enough, unless there's more. Oh, we're not playing on that. Ew, ew, ew. All right, let's walk around. First. Oh, yeah. So here's what I'll say. It's really cool that you can do this. This is a good touch when they can add it into games. I liked it in the Halo Combat Evolved anniversary when you can do this. Uh, obviously this is worse. Wait, does that change the music? Whoa. The music's a better quality in this remaster, that's sick. So, like, if you think about being in 1993 and what a game was in 1993, I already feel like this is pretty cool relatively, what I'm doing right now. And it looks pretty good for that. So that's that's neat. But we'll, we'll play in this version, because this is much nicer. Uh, gum with a dime stuck in it, okay. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. So, push gum with a dime in it. Give gum with a dime in it. Close. Open. Pick up. Look at. Use. Pull. Uh, let's look at. Mm, spearmint, my favorite. You think that um, there's stuff for everything? It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. All right. Can we close it? Close gum? <laughs> it's not in a wrapper. All right, so I, I hope that most of the things in this game have lines for them. Check out this flyer. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. All right, let's 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 uh, pick it up. All right, we now own that. Is that in here? Yes. Textbook. What's that? Okay, we don't need to use that yet. Uh, alright, so, I guess, I don't really know what we're doing here, we're just exploring. Open door. Go check out the office. Let's look at the payphone. It looks broken, right. but there's something in the coin return. Ooh, what is it? 1952. Awesome, we got the dime now. Let's go in. Let's go in the office. No, open them. Or can we not go in there? 
Okay. Never mind. Well, I guess we can't go in there. Take a look at the clock. I think I'm just gonna look at everything. That's my hmm, style. There's something funny about that clock. What? What is it? Aha! A secret passage. Ooh. This is all too easy. Too easy indeed. Look at me go. Oh, Bernard! <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. I love stupid stuff. I guess the 90s is just full of it. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world <laughs> and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. <laughs> Did you say Bernard? <gasps> okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. <laughs> now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Look. Leaping <laughs> lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! <laughs> Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! <laughs> through the time machine! The time machine? All right! I'm loving this, This guys. is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogon! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's actually funny. Promise. I just, I don't know, something about. I feel like this is self aware well, in its I'll stupidity. Be. Which makes it funny to me. I love self aware, stupid stuff. Bernard, what this float is. over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. <coughs> we may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. <laughs> Uh oh. Look at his eyes go. <laughs> this is my favorite character. Easy. Been a, been a long time. Already. Make Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokie and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? 
Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Oh, we're playing. Okay, so, um... I doubt I'll get feedback on this, but I would, if I had a bunch of viewers, I'd ask, you guys want me to talk over those scenes or not? My general inclination, and what I did with the Ethan Carter thing, was, if people are talking, I'm not talking. I'm just, uh, playing when it's letting me play, because, especially in a game where the writing seems important, and this, um... I'm enjoying the writing in this so far. I know that, um... Not good, but in that way, it is good. I feel like they knew what they were doing with this, and that's why I'm in love with it so far. And so I'm really happy about that. Uh, <laughs> so, so for now, I'm gonna keep doing that. Hopefully, we'll have fewer long dialogue sessions like that, so that I can be more involved. Also, I know I've got the uh, face cam on this. I don't know if that's necessary. I don't know if it's uh, beneficial. If it's really adding anything, that says toilet. It's chrono. <laughs> the chrono, John. I got it. I got it. So yeah. Uh, so that for now. I'll be doing less of the talking. Let me see how long this video has been. 16 minutes. Okay, I'm thinking 25 minutes uh, per video would be pretty good. So that's what, we'll get, that's what we'll go for. So right now, we are playing as good old Bernard. Uh, I can't switch characters. I, I'm excited to play as Hoagie. Oh. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Are we supposed to follow? Or are we supposed to continue to look around here? The hamster generator. Let's look at it. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Okay. Push lever. Push. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Well, at least it's off. It is too late, though. Okay, can we go up here? This is a question. The answer is yes. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by the uh, depth of, like, the way that you can walk. I don't know why. I guess I have no concept of what games were like in 1993, but, uh... Oh, <laughs> I was like, where are we? Yoo-hoo! Dr. Fred? Dr. Fred! I know where you went. Don't worry. The plans! The plans! The plans! Let's go in here. Um? Hello? Uh, full sleeping conventioner. I can't move him an inch. Can we push him? I can't move him okay. an inch. Pick him up. No way. Uh, look at. Now there's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> a him. Late night? Do you ever inhale flies when you snore like that? Do you ever inhale flies when you snore like that? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty I'm tentacle. I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Is he laying on it? Huh. I'll bet there's some place obvious. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. That was fruitful dialogue. Or monologue, I guess. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. <laughs> Get out of here. It's pretty darn cold. We gotta save after that. Uh, my face might be where the save thing was. That's not cool. Okay. Uh, look at the candy machine. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> I love how the, the words just are not even close to where the mouth is. And it... Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Okay. Go in here. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate.
<sighs> I can't even do this right. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gosh. Oh. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Uh... Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. <laughs> Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevated Classics series. <laughs> it seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. That's nice. That is nice self-awareness. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? <laughs> That sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Never mind. Wow. All right. Okay. Okay. So that's, um... I, I, I don't know how well this game translates to this Let's Play thing, but I'm enjoying it. But it, it isn't... <laughs> It's very different. It's uh, I've never even watched anybody play a game like this before, much less played one and talked while I did it. So, hopefully this is okay. Go in here. Let's just keep exploring. I'm like green, it. green man. Bernard, what's up? what are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me. If Doctor Fred doesn't find me first, uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Bernard? Hey, do you guys see that? That looks like a Stormtrooper helmet. Oh, is that a VCR tape? Ooh, look at these old speakers. Yes, we have traveled back in time, surely. This is a timepiece. Uh, have you seen the, uh, you super You haven't seen stuff? Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. <laughs> Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. The office or the lab, uh... Oh, we remember where the office was. I think that I actually know how to get into the office now. I was I was not clicking correctly. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. <laughs> wow. Uh, what should we put? Uh, yeah. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. <laughs> How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? <laughs> We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Uh, um... Provocative lyrical content? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. <laughs> we can generate a lot more sound that way. Have you gotten any airplay? This is so no, stupid. we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. No point. Are to you this. working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. That's great. Yeah. Do we keep talking to this guy? We're going to. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> How 
How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. But getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! That's some good stuff. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I, I, I'm crazy for this writing. I'm digging it so much. Going back downstairs because we got to go to the office to find these plans. I think, but I'm so interested in just continuing to talk to people and see if the writing's always that good. See if we can go in here. Yeah. Okay. That's my bad. Before desk drawer sounds like a place to. Uh, there's another Star Wars thing. There's Darth Vader. Boo boo be gone. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, pick up. Okay, uh... Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. <laughs> okay. What's this? Ew. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way. But I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. Um. There's some stuff I guess. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Uh, can we look at that book? It's empty. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. All right. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. I left I my the... little black oh, book okay. at home. Uh, so I don't see his plans in there. It's not what we wanted. We wanted his plans. That's okay. Well, it's said in his lab or in the, uh, his office, so... Oh! Hello, Uzu. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Let's go back down in the lab and see if we missed something. Just because the uh, Mr. Green over there said that that it was probably in his office or the lab. I didn't see it in his office, so we'll go back down to the lab just to be sure, because I didn't really check around here that much. Alright. To do. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to <laughs> one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! Oh my god, it's just on the to-do list. I love it. It is in a very obvious place. I've indeed. got the plans! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? <laughs> my ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet? No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Okay. Hello. Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm <laughs> stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. <laughs> okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. 
<laughs> You'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. <laughs> Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Oh my god, how long has this been, guys? 30 minutes. Oh, we went over my allotted time. I should probably start setting a timer. Uh, but I also don't want to stop when it's not a good stopping point. This seems like a good stopping point, though. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This is this is something else. This is going to be interesting. It looks like uh, looks like some of the puzzles might go between the... Uh, or this new ability we just got to send things from this toilet to other people. So that'll be good. Uh, when we come back on the next episode of Catco Plays Day of the Tentacle Remastered, we will get to be playing as Bernard, finally. Loving Bernard. Every time he talks, it just makes me happy inside. It's so good. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.